I'm Cindy Strahler from OC Tech. I'm one of four instructors here at the Technical College. If you're looking for a great career, how about give us a call and come on in. It's your life. Get in and drive. I'm going to do a seven-step pre-trip inspection, which is required, starting with, I'm going to let my examiner know that my wheels are chalked for safety. I'm going to look under my truck, say there's no puddles to indicate any leaks. Then I'm going to come around and check my oil. My oil and dipstick is properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, broken, or missing. You have to take the stick out, wipe it off, put it back in, take it out again to check to make sure it's at the proper operating range. Then you want to make sure it's back on tight. The next thing is my alternator, which is here, and my belt. So I'm going to say my alternator and belt is properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, broken, or missing any parts. My belt's not cut, worn, or frayed, and when pulled on, should have no more than one half to three quarter inch of play. Then I'm going to go to all of my hoses. You want to kind of try to touch around to all of your hoses. They are properly mounted and secured, and they're not cracked, cut, or frayed, and I hear or see no leaks. Then I'm going to go to my coolant reservoir, which is, it is properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, broken, or missing any parts. I see no leaks. If the engine was cool, I'd remove the cap to check for proper level. If the engine was warm, I'd use my sight glass. Get a, right here. I'd use my sight glass for proper level. We're through with this side of the engine. Now we're going to move around to the other. All right, now we're on the driver's side of the engine, which is the left side. We're going to check our water pump and belt which is located back in here. And you're going to say, my water pump and belt is properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, broken, or missing any parts. I see no leaks. My belt is not cut, worn, or frayed, and when pushed on, should have no more than one half to three quarter inch of play. Then we're going to move on to our air compressor. Let me do the, use this thing. This is an air compressor. And you're going to say, my air compressor, it is properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, broken, or missing any parts. It is gear driven, and I hear no leaks. Again, with this side, the same as the other side, you're going to talk about all of your hoses. So you're going to say, all of my hoses are properly mounted and secured not cracked, cut, or frayed, and I hear or see no leaks. Then you're going to talk about your power steering reservoir. My power steering reservoir, it is properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. I see no leaks, and it is also at the proper operating level and you want to take your stick out, wipe it off, stick it in, and check it. Make sure when you put the cap on, it's back on tight. Then you want to mention the hose, the power steering reservoir hose. It is properly mounted and secured. It's not cut, worn, or frayed, and I see no leaks. And this concludes the engine compartment. At this time, the examiner is going to ask you to get inside the cab and do an in-cab inspection. Now we're going to be doing an in-cab inspection. First thing you're going to do when you get in the truck is a safe start. You're going to make sure your truck is out of gear, you're in neutral, you're going to engage your clutch, you're going to turn 
key, start the engine. Once you start your engine, you'll slowly come back out on your clutch, making sure your tractor's still out of gear, and then put your feet firmly on the, on the floor. There are two things in this cab that are adjusted for you. One is your seat belt. Always remember to put your seat belt on. You want to say my seat belt is not cut, worn, or frayed. It latches properly and it is adjusted for me. The next thing is your outside mirrors. You want to make sure they're properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked, broken, or missing, and no illegal stickers to obstruct your view, and they are adjusted for you. Once you do that, you can start with your windshield. You're going to say, my windshield, it is properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, broken, or missing, and no illegal stickers to obstruct my view. Then you're going to move down to your wipers and your blades. My windshield wipers are properly mounted and secured. You're going to turn them on. They're not cracked, broken, or missing any parts. The blades are not cut or frayed, and they work properly, as well as my washer. Once you get your windshield wipers done, then you're going to be at your light indicator. So you want to make sure all three of these switches are up and on. These are your lights. Then you're going to say, my left turn signal, front, center, and rear, you're going to look in your mirror and look down the side of the trailer, is working properly. My right turn signal indicator, front, center, and rear, is working properly. My four-way flashers, front, center, and rear, is working properly. My high and low beams indicator is working properly. And once you get through with your indicator, you're going to talk about your gauges. My voltmeter is showing that my alternator is charging. My oil pressure gauge and water pressure gauge is showing to be at normal operating range. My primary and secondary air pressure gauge is showing to be rising to the proper operating range between 100 and 125 PSI. My steering wheel is properly mounted and secured, it's not cracked or broken, and it should have no more than 10 degrees or 2 inches of play in a 20 inch wheel. That's a 7 minute timer, so but we'll go on. My city horn and my highway horn works properly. Once you do your horn and your steering wheels, or your steering wheel and your horns, then you're gonna tell them you've got three pieces of emergency equipment. I have a fully charged 5BC rating fire extinguisher and it is properly mounted and secured. I have three reflective triangles and I also have extra circuits and fuses in my glove box. Once you get through talking about all of your other parts, the emergency equipment, you want to make sure you mention that your heater Put your hand where it's blowing. Defroster is working properly. Now after you get through with this, you're going to go into what they call a parking brake check. You want to check make sure that your parking brakes are holding. And in order to do that, you have to make sure your parking brake is set, which is out and your trailer brake, your trailer air supply valve is in. That releases the brake. This releases the trailer brake, thus holding the parking brake to see if they're gonna hold when I do a tug. How you do a tug is you engage your clutch, you 
you're going to put the truck in the lowest gear, which is first. Then you're going to slightly ease out on your clutch. When you feel the truck tug, go back in on your clutch. Take your truck back out of gear. Ease back on your clutch. That's to just make sure you didn't accidentally push the gear stick into another gear. When you get through checking your parking brakes, then you want to do an air brake test or a bleed down or a pump down. You want to check to make sure that your spring brakes are working properly. You're going to turn your truck off. Then you're going to turn your key back on. This is so you'll be able to see your warning light or hear your buzzer sound. You want to release both brakes. Make sure both of your brakes are pushed in and released. Now the first step is going to be my service brake, which is my foot brake. So I'm going to apply my service brake, watching my gauges, and I'm going to say I should lose no more than 4 PSI per minute. Now the examiner may time the full minute or she might time it a little while and say, okay, go ahead, proceed. Then after you do that step, you're gonna start fanning your brakes or pumping your brakes. So at this time, I'm gonna start fanning my brakes and when the, my gauges reach around 60 PSI, my warning light and buzzer will come on. My warning light and buzzer has come on. So now I'm going to continue to pump my brakes down between 40 and 20 PSI. And at that time, both of my brakes or both of my buttons will pop out and they will set. Once your brakes set and they show that they are working properly, then turn your key off. You tell the examiner, this concludes my in-cab inspection. And at this time, you would like to ask her if she would like to help you check your lights. You need to name all of your lights. You want to tell her your tractor and trailer, left turn signal, right turn signal, four-way flashers, and brake lights, and running lights then your tractor high and low beam. Once you're through with your end cab and you go to get out of the truck, make sure you take your key out and put it in your pocket. After you finish your end cab inspection, then you want to come back out and come to the front of your tractor and start with your steer area. And you're going to let them know that my steering linkage, which is column, pitman arm, drag link, is properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, broken, or missing any parts. My, both my tassel nuts and carter keys are properly mounted and secured and not cracked, broken, or missing. My steering gearbox, it is properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, broken, or missing any parts, and I see no leaks. My leaf spring mounts, right here. Front, you're going to have a front and a rear. So you're going to touch your front and point to your rear. My leaf spring mounts, front and rear, and U-bolts. It's properly mounted and secured. 
They're not cracked, broken, or missing any parts. My leaf springs. They are properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked, broken, missing, or shifted. Then you're going to move to your shock absorber. My shock absorber. It is properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked or bent. There's no missing parts, and I see no leaks. Then you're going to move to your brake chamber. My brake chamber, it is properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken, and I hear no leaks. My brake hose and lines are properly mounted and secured. They're not cut, worn, or frayed, and I hear no leaks. Then you're going to move to your slack adjuster, which is right here. My slack adjuster. It is properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, broken, or missing any parts. And when pulled on, should have no more than one inch of play. My brake drum and linings are properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, broken, or warped. My linings are not worn dangerously thin, no less than a quarter of an inch. And it is free of grease and oil. My steer tire. Anytime you're talking about your tires, you want to remember SID, C-I-D, condition, inflation, and depth. So my steer tire, it is properly mounted and secured. I see no cuts or bulges. My tread depth should be no less than 4 seconds of an inch. If I had a tire gauge or a mallet, I would check for proper PSI. Then you're going to move to your rim. My rim is properly man secured. It's not cracked or warped, and I see no illegal wells. Then all of my lug nuts are properly man and secured. They're not cracked, broken, or missing, and no rust trails to indicate looseness. My axle seal, it is properly man and secured. It's not cracked, broken, or missing, and I see no leaks. My valve stem and cap. It's properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, broken, or missing, and I hear no leaks. You want to talk about your mirror brackets, that they are properly mounted and secured, not cracked, broken, or missing any parts. Your door latch and hinges. They are properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked, broken, or missing, and working properly. Your weather stripping is properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, worn, or frayed, and works properly. Then we're going to move on to our fuel area. You're going to talk about your fuel tank, cap, and your lines. Properly mounted and secured, not cracked, broken, or missing, and you see no leaks, and your cap is on tight. Now you're in your coupling area, or starting in your coupling area with your air lines and your electrical lines. But you want to make sure you talk about this frame. You're going to say, my frame is properly mounted and secured. I see no cracks or illegal wells. My cross members, all of my cross members, are properly mounted and secured, not cracked, broken, or missing, and I see no illegal wells. My catwalk, it is properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, broken, or missing, and no residue that I may slip or fall. My drive shaft and couplings, and you're going to have a front and rear. It's properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, broken, or missing any parts. It's not warped, and no obstructions hanging in its way. Then you're going to move to your air lines which is your red and blue line. My air lines are properly mounted and secured from my tractor to my trailer. They're not cut, worn, or frayed, and I hear no leaks. My glad hands, 
or property matters secured. They're not cracked, broken, or missing any parts, and I hear no leaks. My electrical line is properly seated from my tractor to my trailer. It's not cut or worn, and my lines are not tangled. My fifth wheel release arm is in the lock position. My apron is properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked or rusted through. It's properly seated on my fifth wheel platform and I see no light or gaps. And you're gonna look in this area and make sure you see no light or gaps. My locking pin and mounting bolts are properly mounted and secured not cracked, broken, or missing, and they are locked in place. And my Carter key is properly mounted and secured. My fifth wheel is also properly greased. My drive tires, all four, are properly mounted and secured. I see no cuts or bulges, and my tread depth should be no less than 2 seconds of an inch. If I had a tire gauge or a mallet, I would check for proper PSI. My tires are evenly spaced, do it this way, and no obstructions. My bud rims, front and rear, is properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked or warped, and I see no illegal wells. All of my lug nuts, front and rear, is properly mounted and secured, not cracked, broken, or missing, and I see no rust trails to indicate looseness. My valve stem and caps, all four. And your valve stem to your back tire is in the opposite hole. So my valve stem and caps, all four. Properly mounted secured, not cracked, broken, or missing, and I hear no leaks. My axle seal, it is properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, broken, or missing any parts, and I see no leaks. Now that you're underneath the drives, We've got seven parts. I'm going to begin with my leaf spring mounts. My leaf spring mounts, front and rear, on both axles, is properly mounted and secured, not cracked, broken, or missing any parts. My leaf springs is properly mounted and secured, front and rear, not cracked, broken, or missing, or shifted. My torque rods, front and rear, is properly mounted and secured, not cracked, broken, or missing any parts. My shock absorber, front and rear, is properly mounted and secured, it's not cracked, broken, or missing, and I see no leaks. My airbags, front and rear, it's properly mounted and secured, not cut, worn or frayed, and I hear no leaks. My U-bolts, front and rear, it's properly mounted and secured, not cracked, broken, or missing any parts. Then your brake chambers, front and rear, it's properly mounted and secured, not cracked, broken, or missing any parts, and I hear no leaks. The double brake chamber is on my front drive, and the single is on my rear. My brake lines and hoses, properly mounted and secured, not cut, worn, or frayed, and I hear no leaks. My slack adjusters, front and rear, is properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked, broken, or missing any parts. The slack adjuster on my double brake chamber should be at a 90 degree angle. The slack adjuster on my single brake chamber when pulled on should have no more than one inch of play. My brake drums and linings, front and rear, it's properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked, warped. My linings are not worn dangerously thin, no less than a quarter of an inch, and they are free of grease and oil. Before you come out from under your tractor, you want to make sure that you look up the throat of your fifth wheel 
And you're going to say my kingpin is properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, broken, or missing. My locking jaws are locked around the kingpin shank. Then you're going to come to your lights. And you're going to say my left and right turn signal, four-way flashers, brake lights, and running lights are properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked, broken, or missing, and the proper color is red. My landing gear, it is properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, broken, or missing any parts. It's in the upright position, and my handle is locked in place. My fifth wheel is positioned so that my tractor will clear my landing gear during turns. <laughs> then you're going to come to the headboard of your trailer and you're going to say my headboard it is properly mass secured it's not warped and I see no holes and it will support my load then you're going to talk about your running lights clearance lights and reflector. They are properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked, broken, or missing, and the proper color is amber. You're gonna have an amber on the front, red on the back. Always red on the back. My longitudinal frame is properly mounted and secured. There's no bulges or holes, and it will support my load. My DOT approved reflective tape. It's properly mounted and secured, proper colors, red and white. My left turn signal and running light, it's properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, broken, or missing, and the proper color is amber. Now I'm going to check the floor of my trailer. My floor and cross members, all of your cross members are properly mounted and secured, <clears throat> not cracked, broken, or missing, and will support your load. Then you're going to move over here to your airlines. My airlines, they are properly mounted and secured, they're not cut, frayed, or worn and I hear no leaks. They're not tangled or dragging. My tandem release arm and locking pin is properly mounted and secured, not cracked, broken, or missing, and it is locked in place. On your tires, it's pretty much peat and repeat from your drives to your tandems. <clears throat> My tires, all four, are properly mounted and secured. They're not cut, and I see no bulges. My tread depth should be no less than two thirty seconds of an inch. If I had a tire gauge or a mallet, I would check for proper PSI. My tires are evenly spaced and no obstructions. My bud rims, front and rear, properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked, warped, and I see no illegal welds. All of my lug nuts, front and rear, properly mounted and secured, not cracked, broken, or missing, and no rust trails to indicate looseness. My valve stem and cap, it's properly mounted and secured not cracked, broken, or missing, and I hear no leaks. All four. My axle seals, front and rear, properly mounted and secured, not cracked, broken, or missing, and I see no leaks. Now you're under your trailer, which is called your tandem area. My leaf spring mounts, front, center, and rear. It's properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked, broken, or missing any parts. My leaf springs, 
front and rear. It's property mass secured, not cracked, broken, missing, or shifted. My torque rods are prop front and rear. It's properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked, broken, or missing any parts. My torsion rod, which is this long bar going straight across your frame, front and rear, it's properly mounted and secured, not cracked, broken, or missing any parts. My brake chambers, front and rear, it's properly mounted and secured, not cracked, broken, or missing any parts, and I hear no leaks. They are both double brake chambers. My air lines and hoses are properly mounted and secured. They're not cut, worn, or frayed, and I hear no leaks. My slack adjusters, front and rear, properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked, broken, or missing any parts. They are both at a 90 degree angle. My U-bolts, front and rear, is properly mounted and secured, not cracked, broken, or missing any parts. My brake drums and linings, front and rear, is properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked, warped. My linings are not worn dangerously thin, no less than a quarter of an inch, and is free of grease and oil. Now, I would like to add that this trailer has a front, center, and rear leaf spring mount. This is not an air ride trailer. The other two that we have are air ride trailers, so they would consist of front and rear leaf spring mounts on both axles. They would also include the airbags and the shock absorbers. After you get out from underneath your tandems, you want to come back to your door tie. My door tie is properly mass secured. It's not cracked, broken, or missing, and will secure my door. Then you'll come around to the back of your trailer, and you're going to say, my left turn signal, right turn signal, four-way flashers, brake lights, and running lights are properly mounted and secured, not cracked, broken, or missing, and their proper color is red. My reflective tape is DOT approved, it's properly mounted and secured, and the proper color is red and white. Then you're gonna open your door. And you're gonna tell them my door latch and hinges are properly mounted and secured, not cracked, broken, or missing, <laughs> if I was to do my right side, I would do it the same as my left, except for one exception, and that would be my exhaust. My exhaust is properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, broken, or missing any parts. I see no holes or sunt trails to indicate leaks. Then you'll go around to the front of your tractor. And you will put your hood up. And you're gonna talk about the lights on the front of the tractor. You're going to say my headlights. They are properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked, broken, or missing, and the proper color is clear. My left and right turn signal and four-way flashers. Properly mounted and secured, not cracked, broken, or missing, and the proper color is amber. My clearance lights and marker lights are properly mounted and secured, not cracked, broken, or missing, and the proper color is amber. And this concludes my inspection. Here I am again, perfect time. The strings are ringing and the 